Well, hello, and welcome back to the Scrub Invader stream. Stiltskin is here with me today, and we're going to do hello. another round of sorcery. 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 Uh, different decks, of course. Um, we want to keep some things moving. I put this one together um, originally with the uh, Restless Crowd. Hopefully that will be coming to Tabletop Simulator soon. I discovered cool. last night, though, that the card image isn't in the database. So swapped them out for Gray Wolves. And I think I added like a, a Gnomish something or other, whatever the little gnome guys are for Earth. Uh, but other than that, it is the same deck for Earth. And uh, we've got mine up ready, and yours is ready. You, I see, are you running a Sorcerer? I've got the yeah. Avatar of Earth. Yeah, so uh, just very briefly, the other deck that uh, I ran, of course, I misunderstood how the Death Speaker worked. We both I, did. Yeah, I was <laughs> under the impression it was more of like a necromancer um, and that it would be a little more effective in that deck. Now, that was the first deck I ever created, so I, the Landlord of the Void, right? So I don't want to tear it apart. I like to just keep it there, even though it's not the most effective deck in the world. This is the other version, the second deck that I created when I saw doing multicolored decks is actually more effective in this game. Uh, you can do a lot more stuff and get a lot Sorry. more combos. So this is Landlord of the Univoid. Uh, and it has every color in it but water. That's the only thing we don't have here. So it's going to be a more efficient version version of the deck we saw in the last two streams. Nice. Yeah, with mine, with the gray Shh. wolves being in there, it almost became more of like a hunting party with some ranged options um, and a couple surprises in there. Uh, if the wolves die, other people die, I've got some uh, minions that can help out. Yeah. Too true. Too true. I will roll off here. Evens for me, odds for you. That's right. You got a five. I actually uh, got one this time. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and, um, what is it to flip the card? Uh, F. F, yeah, okay, so it is pretty straightforward. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and mulligan uh, two. Oh, that's the wrong button. I'm going <laughs> to mulligan two here. I'll mulligan one out of my atlas and one uh, out of my spell book. And I believe those just get placed on the bottom. Yep. And I'm going to keep my starting hand. I'm good with that. That's awesome. Technical difficulties. Oh. There we are. Oh no, tabletop. Yeah, it doesn't want to pick up the entire deck sometimes, either the way I'm clicking or, you know, whatever. Maybe some computer things. Yeah, yeah it might be. Computer issues. It very well might be. All right, so no, I've yeah, got... Yeah, you won the roll, so you were first. I've got first go, so let me look at what my options are here. While he's looking, I can talk some theory of my deck. Um, the idea, again, being kind of a minion rush deck, I guess you, you would consider it. Um, a lot of small things. The Gray Wolves are only a two cost, one threshold. I believe one power, somewhere right around there. And um, they are stacking with some other minions that hopefully we'll see later that on their death give the power to this minion and some of you may already know what it is uh, again hopefully we'll see it uh, wriggle and writhe hint, hint, into play later uh, but yeah it, it's kind of just an exploration of some range some minion options and um, going with earth uh, the first element that I was really attracted to was water so I did that title grave deck um, again misunderstood the death speaker but that's fixed now. I think I put a sorcerer in or uh, something like that as the main avatar. Yeah, okay. So I actually want to go ahead and put them back. Is it on the top for observatory? I don't remember. I think it is. Yeah, put them back in mm -hmm. any order. Okay, 
Yeah, on top of it. Anyway. I'm thinking of the mulligan rule. <laughs> no, uh, the one card, uh, browse. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was thinking of browse. You what? You take one. You put the other seven on the bottom. Something yeah, like that. yeah, that's it. All right, it's your turn, my friend. Alrighty, I will draw a spell. There's a second player here, and we'll start it out pretty simple. Get a rustic village in play here. Does say, of course, on the Genesis, you may pay one to summon a foot soldier token here. I'm going to go ahead and use that one mana. Scroll over here, get my foot soldier tokens, which I had forgotten about. Grab one of them. Spawn him in. There's the avatar. Lay Earth. Uh, and then that is it for me. I've drawn, I've played a mana source, and gotten my cool little foot soldier. Yeah. Play passes back to you. Okay. So we'll go ahead and start our turn here. And we actually do get to draw a card. I'm going to draw a spell. Spells. Spells. And then I will go ahead and play a step right Ooh. here. It's, our, it's a dual color land, so I now have one wind, one earth, and one fire threshold, which is very helpful. Gives me a lot of different options. Mm -hmm. And I will go ahead and use one of my two, and I'm going to bring the Awakened Mummies into play. Now, the Awakened Mummies only cost one. They require one fire threshold, but they're a three power and defense, which is really cool. They are. They're and an exceptional. They're oh, what was that? And they're burrowed. Yeah, they're yeah. Burrowed. An exceptional undead roused from rest. Summon awakened mummies burrowed safely. When an enemy unit moves onto the ground above them, they unburrow and intercept. So, kind of a weird little card. So, we're going to go ahead and. Oops, I you didn't mean for to flip them. Put them under. Yeah, okay, yeah. It's you for under. I don't play this often there you enough. Go. Yeah, there we go. So, they are burrowed underneath the step, and play passes back to you. Cool. Now, uh, can you go into some thoughts? Because I just had the thought with your kind of rainbow-colored deck, why the Sorcerer is your avatar instead of the Elementalist? Well, I went with the Sorcerer because we still have the focus on Lord of the Void and trying to get him out okay. as quickly as possible. So for the Sorcerer, uh, he's got the tap to player draw a site, and then you can also tap him to draw a spell. Mm, okay. So while it stops me from laying a land resource, it does still help me move through my deck a lot faster. Uh, the fair. Necromancer yeah. doesn't do that. The Elementalist doesn't do that. And if I remember right, the Elementalist's Shh. ability is you can turn cards... No, it's the one that starts with one threshold of everything. Yeah, that's that's so right. So it would work for your deck well, but... But, yeah, as yeah. you can see, it's turn two, and I already have one threshold of everything. Yeah, basically. Yeah. So it didn't seem necessary to me versus the rapidity of the draw, right, where I know I can always draw more cards if I strategize properly. So I drew my um, sight this turn. This a little bit easier. Spread those. Nope, I need to tap my sorcerer here. Yeah, you're good. I'm gonna go ahead and use one of my two Manananas to Manana. bring in the new foot soldier of the Rustic Village's Genesis ability. Yep. Uh, with the remaining one, I'll go ahead and keep that handy, but I am gonna go ahead and tap and move these foot soldiers up. Nice. And play passes back to you. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and draw a Atlas card this time. Squeaky, squeaky. <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead and lay a Ruins here, uh, connecting us up in 13. So I now have three mana, two air threshold, two fire and one earth uh, using my two I'm gonna go ahead and play blink while well, using two of my three I'll play blink yeah. the awakened mummies are gonna end up here 
defending this nice. land without moving. I will discard blink and I will draw a spell. And then play will pass to you. Very nice. And the use of blink there really does make it feel, to me at least, a lot like chess. Yes. Which is one of the things I've really loved about sorcery is the making of the board state not only cards and minion wise but by literally creating the world as you go yeah and there's some cool tricks with other unique like sites you can do rift valley comes to mind pulling some stuff apart and putting it in between um i drew a site just for those who didn't catch it let's go ahead we'll tap to play vantage hills here very useful for the ranged characters. Uh, it's an exceptional site with ranged units atop this site have plus one to their range. Brings me up to three and three. I only need the three mana to bring in Belmont Longbowmen. We'll bring them in on the Vantage Hill site there. So they have a plus one range. So as I recall, right, that they're able, range normally would be these. Uh, in diet or in, it's a I it's a projectile, so it's always cardinal. cardinal. Yeah, it's always so cardinal. Like you couldn't, assuming that they were unearthed, you couldn't shoot the awakened mummy. Exactly, they would have to be here in fourteen. Exactly, or here in twenty, or whatever that is. Ten, 10. is that ten? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 10. they're in ten. I was going to say numerically, it doesn't make sense for that to be twenty. But just to clarify, so I understand you too, could, and viewers, like if your sorcerer was there, I could shoot my normal one two. Because of the plus one range, assuming they can shows. shoot across the void, I actually well now that they can't. I <laughs> we'll, think they can't. We'll assume that there's a piece of land there for the arrow to not vanish yeah. out of existence. But just to clarify, that's how the range works. You've always got that mm -hmm. one space out, and the Vantage Hills would let me get up to the step if, as you said, there was physical reality for the arrow to travel. In. Yeah. Um, hmm, what to do? What to do? Do I want to trigger? The Awakened. Dun, 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 right? dun, 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 dun. Um, I mean, my foot soldiers are one, but it would un... Well, you could un... Mm. Ah, I'll pass. I'll pass. Okay. It's your turn. That's <laughs> fair. So I'll start turn. Thank you for playing, of course, by the way. Yeah, this thank is, you. This is always a it's great always time. It's always a great time. It's always a great time. I'm going to draw a, another Atlas card. Um, and then I will go ahead and just tap my sorcerer, take the very stereotypical move of playing the Atlas card. I'm going to play another Ruins right next to my Ruins, so we've got a lot of Ruins going a on A lot here. of Ruined spaces. Hello, Yoshi. Uh, then I will use three of my four, and we're going to go ahead and play a Wizard. Whoa. Uh, to be here. I'm glad I put a whole bunch of guys in front of my uh, yeah, avatar. We'll, we'll put the wizard here to <laughs> hang out with these dudes. Uh, the awakened mummies and the wizard are supporting each other. Now, when the wizard hits the board, I draw a spell. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I have one left. One, two, three, four. But the wizard costs three. There's nothing in my hand. I'll share that that I can do anything with it. Right. So play will pass back to you. Cool. Thank you, Scrub. Let's go ahead. Turn start. Uh, what do I have for sights? Let's get a spell this turn for my first draw. Nice. All right. Should be able to do some cool stuff. We're going to put down... A Vantage Hills here, bringing me up to four. And with that four, I'm going to summon one and two Gray Wolves, each costing nice. two. Uh, now, Gray Wolves have the special uh, condition that my spellbook may include any number of Gray Wolves, so they don't have the standard... Um, you know, what am I trying to say here? Ordinary, exceptional, the rating systems, they're just there. Now, they do have ordinary in them, but they you can have any amount, is the clarification. Right. Um, coolest, though, is they have plus one power for each other gray wolf nearby. 
since they're together. Uh, could you promote me actually to uh, not host, but you know, give me some admin privileges so I can spawn some more dice here? Um, I have give host and promote. They, there we go. There we go. Yes, promote Stiltskin and Google. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, so to represent that, let's clone. We're gonna clone a few of these dice here. Ooh. And I have refreshed my memory. You can highlight things and then hit the minus key to make them smaller. So let's do the math here. We have one, two, so they should be what both at a two strength. Yeah. We'll do that at two. This one at two. Excellent. We'll get all those little ones set off to the side. Neat. So there's the gray wolves of the deck's idea and namesake. We're going to move the Belmont Longbowmen up, and they are going to attack your apprentice wizard. Okay. With range, of course. And how much damage do they do? Three. Apprentice wizard dies. First blood! Yay! Uh, and then that is it for me. No. I'm going to sacrifice a foot soldier. Let's trigger that yep. awakened mummies there. The mummies respond. And they assume, I assume they defend against the attack. Yeah, they unburrow and intercept. They actually have to, oh, according okay, to their card cool. language. That's why I was reading it. It does say that they unburrow and, and they intercept. intercept. So technically, I, my understanding is it's not yep. optional, right? Yeah, they just do it automatically. They kill them. You take one floating damage that goes yep. away because it's the end of my turn. Yep. Okay. Nice. All then right, then I think pretty successful. Start. Yeah, I would say got so. Got rid of your wizard. Uh, got the mummies out. I would say so. Poor moment, minute man, though. Poor oh, wizard. <laughs> Screw your minute, man. Well, they'll never go back to their humble rustic village. That's right. They're never going to return home children. to their humble rustic children. <laughs> Papa, where have you gone? The great wizard had me kill myself in his war. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go ahead and after drawing my sight, I'm going to tap my sorcerer to play it. I'm going to Rift Valley this biatch. No! All right, so how's that read again? You so Rift Valley, everything uh, along? you may pull apart a partial row or column to make a void in which to play this. So, yeah, I'm going to move them over there. We can see the logic for doing that. Yep. And That's I'll draw nice. Rift Valley nice. right there. Well done. So and Rift Valley doesn't give me any threshold. It just or no, it does give me one earth, mm -hmm. sorry. I've got one. Hint hint. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I forgot. Nice. I thought it was uh one of those generic lands. No, surprisingly not. Yeah. But it is I, an I earth card. Think it I is forgot too. about that. It is an earth card. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now that I've done that, I do have uh five to play with here. So we're gonna use three. Well done. That was a good move. And we're going to bring in an apprentice wizard again. Hey, I know you. Right here. I so hear you need return. another apprentice. We're going to draw a spell as a part of his effect to yep, yep. come in. Always useful. And then with the other two, we are going to go ahead and lightning bolt uh, 13 here. Oh no! So two damage to something. That's and there. then what? It's randomized, right? It is randomized. One, two, so three. Uh, you've uh, assigned your values to your cards, so yeah, you know, just roll for it. I'd say we'll do four, five, and six will represent one, two, and three. So it works. doesn't really matter, right? Four. So four is technically number one for this guy. Whoever you assign number one to, I trust you. It's fair. Belmont Longbowman makes the most sense. <laughs> and then the wolves. Uh, so how much damage did you do again? Three? Three. Yep. That takes care of him. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. Nice. Good follow-up. Thank you, thank you. Well, it was a pretty even trade, honestly. It nice was job. good. It was a good trade. It was beautiful that the apprentice wizard to the apprentice wizard... Avenged yeah. his apprentice. He did. It's his <laughs> twin brother. <laughs> Play passes to you. Okay, let's it's see. His twin bro. 
<laughs> I'm coming, brother. Oh, you've died. I'm... I came too late. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Vengeance. He's Vengeance the one who cast the Rift Valley spell. That's what. Exactly, exactly. He used all of his power. We are going to prevent any future funny business by putting a bedrock here. Wah, wah, wah. Can't be moved, destroyed, or modified. It does give me <clears throat> one more mana and an earth threshold. Good. And bork bork. Bark bark. Mr. We are going to use two of my five to bring in another Sif three hush, wolves. Buddy. Boop. 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 Pumping all these guys up to three. Yeah. We're going to take one of the gray wolves and we're going to attack your rift valley. Yep. So that takes you down. One, two, three. Nice stuff. And take another gray wolf. And attack you for another three. One, two, and three. I'm liking these gray wolves already. Oh, yeah. Uh, who let the dogs out? Oh, no, wait, I don't want you to get canceled. Oof, oof, oof. <laughs> or demonetized okay. or whatever. I'm not monetized. I'm oh, okay. Well, then there one. you go. I'm not popular <laughs> enough. <laughs> uh, I am almost done. We're going to move and swing at whoever there. Who do you want to defend with? What damage do they do here? A measly one. Uh, then we'll go ahead and intercept with the Awakened Mummies since the Awakened Mummies can take that and not die. That's fine with me. Get them off the board here. Get them out of the way. For cooler stuff. And I'm done. Okay. So we'll start turn. We'll draw another site. And then we'll immediately tap our Sorcerer to play that site. And we're going to go ahead and put a lone tower mm, here in our back line, actually. Not get too too aggressive. Oops. Sorry about that, guys. Wrong button. Uh, Genesis. Lone tower you control uh, gains one this turn for your mana. Mm -hmm. So this turn I actually have seven. Seven. Um, I'm just keeping track. Oh yeah, you're good. And I'm thinking, when the mana counts start getting past six, I'm like, wait a minute, <laughs> I gotta start using my fingers. <laughs> so I will go ahead. And play a Nightmare to this location using all seven. Nice. Then as my turn ends, I'm going to go ahead and push. And does it say adjacent, adjacent. location okay. or the void? So I'm assuming it's a nearby sort of rule. Well, if it's adjacent, then that would be Oh, yeah, it does, it does say yeah. adjacent. So, yeah, we'll push you back. From whence I came. From whence you came, yeah. Uh, that works for me. Boop. Yeah, I was going to say, man, it doesn't clarify direction. I just, like, read over it. You're good. <coughs> good defense of the Rift Valley. And play passes back to you. Boop. Let's grab a spell here. And I guess technically I keep forgetting about the Avatar of Earth. Sorry about that, guys. Because she does she, it thing. Has You have the power, or you have plus one power for each nearby Earth site. There are one, two, mm -hmm. three, four. Plus that. So that's five power for the Avatar. My bad. Uh, we are going to, since this Avatar is beefy, move her up. Yep. I was like, why is she still sitting back there? She's a usable offense op. Oh, I forgot to do the damage. That's right. Or the damage, the, the power. Sorry, not enough coffee this morning, I guess. Let's see. Oh, my gosh. So it would take a few wolves to kill that thing. Yeah. Hmm.
I, I just doing the math in my head. I think it would take all three of those gray wolves just to kill the nightmare. Because, yeah, because two of them would only do six, so then you'd have yeah. to add the other one. Yeah, yeah, because it would go down inversely every time, not inversely. And one wolf time. would survive. No, they wouldn't survive. Yeah, yeah I, I would magic. have to. Use, I would have to use all of them. Okay, I'll leave them there to defend my land. Um, Fair. Some pressure from her. I'm gonna pass. Okay. Not super eventful, but. That happens. Though. We're mounting mounting defenses. That happens from time to time. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to draw an Atlas card this turn. But then, after that, I will actually go ahead and tap my Sorcerer. Whoa, I'll turn him upside down, I guess. To draw a spell, I will not immediately play that Atlas card. Um, and then I will take this Nightmare. I will move him up to attack here for seven. Oof. Yeah. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> or six, sorry. It's six. No, oh, it, it, it is six. Oh, okay. Six. Yeah, yeah. So 14, 14. Nice. And then, <clears throat> I will pass to you. Okay. You were debating on attacking the Avatar. <laughs> I was debating on something <laughs> else. Actually. Oh, really? I okay. I was debating on something else. Okay. All right. Let's draw a sight here. Nice. That's what I needed. Okay. Uh, we are going to... Tap. We're going to play Kingdom of Agha of Aghatha. Mm -hmm. Ag Agartha. Agartha, excuse me. It's a unique site. I have the three threshold for sure. All minions have burrowing. So I now have burrowing gray wool. Nice. <laughs> That's good stuff. Isn't it? <laughs> it is actually. Let's see here. Well, in light of that, we will tap this whole pack and move them over burrowed mm -hmm. let me think how to do this best there we go there yeah, we go. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, uh. no 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 not four there we go and they can lying in wait now they can't burrow move an attack because burrowing is still a movement so they can at least move there. Yeah. And threaten. Underground. That's right. <laughs> it's so crazy. Now, here's a quick question. I just had. For each nearby Earth site, it doesn't specify that for my avatar it has to be my Earth site. Yeah, it doesn't say you control or anything. So, uh, Rift, step or both Rift Earth Valley sites, is nearby. Rift Valley so, is... she would go up to a six. I didn't think about that. Okay, cool. Um, I have, like, mana to use and stuff, too. Let's see here. We're going to play a shield wall, which is the exceptional magic of unfaltering formation. Until your <laughs> next turn, each ally takes one less damage for each other ally it's nearby. Yep. So we'll just leave that kind of there to remind us it's in play. Um, so that will last until my next turn. Oh, no, wait, I shouldn't have done that. I'm so sorry. Can I take that back? Yeah, that's fine. Because I wanted to <laughs> move an attack, but I was like, I've already tapped her. Wait. Yeah, yeah, I do that sometimes. So you see the idea, though. I do. I have all the wolves there that would reduce it at least by three. I do see the idea. Yes, yes. Now that I'm giving myself away, it's your turn. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right. We never claim to be professionals. We're just two dudes who like games. <laughs> That's very true. So I'm going to draw a spell. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, then. Then. I will go ahead and 
tap my avatar to draw uh, another spell. Then I will cast using four of my six the Bane Widow here. Ooh. And she will kill a target minion there, so one of your wolves is gone. Is dead indeed. Well done. Thank you, thank you, thank well you. Yeah, she is a powerful card. <clears throat> and then um, I have two left. So I'm going to go ahead and use those two to cast Common Sense. And then I will search through my deck here. I can grab an Ordinary card. Mm -hmm. You can grab an ordinary card. Ordinary. And I'm kind of looking to see what I might want to do here. Ah, dropping stuff. It's a leech. We don't want to do that. Seat. Exceptional. Can't do that. Okay, I have chosen my card, so I will now go ahead and shuffle, and then Common Sense resolves itself. <clears throat> and the Nightmare is going to go ahead and attack your undefended land here. For six. For six. This game may be over sooner than we thought. It may be. And then I'm going to pass play to you. Okay. Well... Draw a spiel. Yeah. Uh -huh. mm. That would have been nicer earlier in the game, but we can work with it. Yoshi. Yoshi. Good boy. As always, sorry guys, I have several animals in a home where they don't like... I've got some cats and I've got a bird... Right, I've got a dog, and they don't all necessarily mix well together, so I don't have a lot of different areas in my house where I can go to set up a game like this or a streaming session like this where there's not going to be an animal that's making noise, and I can still have internet. I'm going to bring in with two of my six a Frontier Settlers, can't yep. use their tap ability yet, but they're very useful. Mm-hmm. They're very good. Using now the shield wall <laughs> with three, so that's four out of my six, or uh, excuse me, five out of my six. We're going to move and attack mm -hmm. your nightmare with my avatar. Yep. Who takes takes one, two, three less damage. So I take what three? Three less. Because shield wall. So until oh, the next yeah. turn, each yeah, ally right. yeah. takes one less for each other ally that's nearby. They're still yep. both. So one, two, that's correct. Three. Risky, but it worked. No, I it. get it. I forgot about <clears throat> shield wall. That's my fault. I forgot about it. It's okay. Uh, we're going to. Unburrow and attack the Bane Widow with a Gray Wolf. Mm -hmm. Two versus one. Yep, and the Bane Widow dies. And we're going to try to do a little bit of damage on Burrow and two damage on the Rift Valley. Yep. <clears throat> Down to 12. 
And I pass. Okay. All right, so I will go ahead and draw a site. My opener there. Uh, this one I actually will bring into play here on 16, giving me 7, 4, 3, and 4. Mm -hmm. And then, after tapping my sorcerer for doing that, I will read a card to make sure I'm not making a horrible mistake. Okay, so I am going to cast Incinerate. Deal four damage to each other target unit. Oh no. <laughs> at location near the caster or an allied dragon. Um, so, my understanding of what's going to happen here, actually, I'll do this first because they're going to die. The awakened mummies will attack, move and attack here for three mm -hmm. since they're about to be toast. Um, and then the caster will cast his spell and, uh, whoa, wait a minute, never mind. I did this all out of order. I'm so sorry, guys. So I have seven. So I meant to cast Blink uh, and at least move my sorcerer back a little bit. It won't help him, uh, but it will give me uh, the ability to draw a card, which I want to do. So I draw my spell, and then we'll cast Incinerate. So we have the attack here, the move here for Blink, and then we cast Incinerate. Mm -hmm. So Incinerate does four damage to each other unit at target location near the caster or an allied dragon. So I'm going to target this location. Yep. It does four damage, four damage, mm -hmm. four damage, right, because I'm near... Yeah, my understanding is it's at target location, so it's just this one right here. Oh, okay. Yeah, all right. That's, that's, good. that's good. Yeah, I actually uh, momentarily misunderstood that as well. I misread it and thought it was going to hit everything nearby, but it does not. It's a target location spell. Again, if I played the game more, <laughs> I wouldn't probably have made that mistake, but it's fine. It, we are learning, and I still pulled it off, so who cares? Hooray! Yeah. Goodbye, wolves. Goodbye, wolves, indeed. And that's all of my stuff that I can do. Mananas. Turn start. Um, let's scoochie scoochie them over. There we go. Yeah. Uh, okay, let's grab a spell. The turn was wildly out of order. Sorry about that. <laughs> it was like all over the map. <clears throat> I was like, no, wait, I'm going to do this. No, wait, I'm going to do this. No. <laughs> ah, decisions. Uh, I'm going to use the Frontier Settlers tap. Reveal the topmost site of your atlas. Play it adjacent to the Frontier Settlers, if able. They move there and then lose this ability. Yeah. So we will take one card. There we go. Ah, it is the Holy Ground. Oh, yeah. If only that would have been over here somewhere. Yeah, that's true. Oh, actually, this is just a shield wall. It could be over it, there. It can be. My life is saved. <laughs> there we go. Nice. That was that was very convenient. Yeah, that worked out really well, actually. I totally forgot about that shield wall just being a shield wall. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, let's take a look and see. Nearby. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, still six. If I move up, I'd still be there. All right, so that's what we're going to do. We are going to make sure I'm not making a horrible mistake as well. We're going to use one mana to play overpower on the avatar. Yep. Give the now I plus two this turn. So making them six, seven, eight. Yep. I can spend another to make it four with another overpower. Ooh. 
So grand total is 10 coming your way via Rift nice. Valley. Good stuff. Down to two. I see what people mean about the Avatar of Earth. <laughs> yeah, that's very why beefy. I, that's part of why I think they're replacing them with other cards. Mm, yeah, fair. they were a little ridiculous, except for the Avatar of Air, who basically can just move. That's it. That's all she can do is run away. Poof. And I am done. Okay, so I will start turn here. And we will use the ability. Don't forget to draw. Of the avatar <coughs> to probably do a site. We'll see. No, we really need that. Okay. So we'll go ahead and tap the avatar uh, to draw a spell. Spells. And then we'll do a couple of things here. We'll use two of the seven to cast Common Sense. And we will search our deck again. Oh, Sif, you all right there, buddy? <laughs> We're gonna pull out our spell into our hand. Common sense will disappear. We shuffle our spell book. Uh, we've got five left. So we're going to go ahead and use the five. Uh, we're going to attack here with the awakened mummies. Three. Yep. Mm hmm. Two and two. And let's see. What did I say? We have five left. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to use those five for another incinerate and hit the avatar of Earth. What's wrong, little buddy? I think he wants to sit in the box. Oh, there's a kitty in there, isn't there? You can't get to her. Is oh. there a kitty in that box, Mr. Ziff? <laughs> that's what it is. Yeah, that's what it is. There's a cat sleeping in the box. Halloween's in there, and he wants to get to her. He knows she's in there. <laughs> silly boy, hush. <laughs> no, Ziff, leave that silly kitty alone. <laughs> oh, no, you're doing another incinerate. Yeah, I'm doing another incinerate. I'm doing another incinerate. Well, I don't think we even have to talk about the math on that. Yeah, one that's there. that's that score. <laughs> it's a very close game, though. That's it is. Score. Yes, that's it's not score. over yet. No, it's not. I only have two health, so <laughs> that's a bit of a struggle there, right? Anything else? Uh, that's all of my man and on. Okay, and all the tricks up your sleeve. Sounds good. I mean. Well, no, you can't. You can't kill me the same turn. Otherwise, I'm no. Like, I can't. <laughs> the apprentice wizard could just boop. <laughs> yeah, I can't do that. Damage. Can't do that. <laughs> Thank goodness that rule exists. No, Seth, hush, buddy. Let's see if a last ditch spell will save my butt. <coughs> Amen. Excuse me. Not quite. <laughs> Hoping for the spiel. Yes. We will. Move my avatar back to Vantage Hills. Run! <laughs> yes! Run away! We'll at least move these guys up to make yep. a defense, a try to mount a defense. Uh, we'll play Shield Wall. Uh, so you have to do at least over one, right, to actually kill me. Like yep. two. <laughs> But that's it. Your turn. Okay, so we'll start turn. Drum roll. Go ahead and draw a spell. Uh, then I'm going to use two to lightning bolt you, and I think that's, <laughs> I think that's it. Or a lightning bolt. That works, yeah, too. Lightning. I've been using all this fire. It's time to pull some lightning out. I suppose we could always do this. We've never done this before. Flip. <laughs> Thanks, guys, for joining us. See? Yeah, thank you oh, very goodness. much. There it is again. It just repeats infin infinitely. Oh, that's that's oh, that's a pleasant. 
<laughs> mine actually went black. Mine, mine just keeps going over and over and over again. That's kind of hilarious. <laughs> All right, well, thank you guys so much for joining us for a game of sorcery. We will be back again to play this amazing game again. Mm -hmm. Thank you, as always, to Eric and the team at Eric's Curiosa yep. and all the other content creators who are putting out so much wonderful content for this game to support it. Uh, and folks we'll, like Team Covenant for yeah. distributing it. You know. Yeah. And hopefully we'll have our beta cards in hand here within the next couple of months. Woo! And we'll be excited. We'll probably do some live openings for those Yeah, uh, and get out the camera. I know I keep saying I'll get out the camera. I really am going to do that, though. Yeah. And that's one of the events we'll pull the camera out for. We'll the Moogle do a that I'm unboxing. married to has a camera, so between her Moogle magic and my Moogle magic, we should nice. be able to figure something out. Maybe do a live game. Maybe, yeah, maybe no promises, cool. but we'd have to figure it out. But I think we could pull it off. Yeah, yeah we could pull it off. Take a little bit of setup, but we could figure that out. Mm -hmm. But take it easy for now, guys. We'll see you again. And either later on tonight or tomorrow, I will get back to streaming some Elden Ring PvP. Nice. And we'll see if we can get some builds uh, that I'm proficient enough with that uh, it's more wins than losses. Right. <laughs> but take Best it easy. Luck to you. Take care of each other. It's a crazy world out there. You never know what's going to happen. Live every day to the fullest. Enjoy yourselves. And uh, we'll see you again very soon.